here fishing a little pond by my house. And uh, we're just gonna see here if I can't get a couple bass. I'm fishing the 10 bearing real tree max 4 H2O Express. The reel's 10 bearing, uh, it's metal, brand, metal, metal, whatever. Also got Nabu Garcia, seven foot, medium action, 75 pound braid, uh, loose 10, 10 bearing reel on it. And uh, I'm flipping a Texas rig lizard, throwing a sexy shad, shallow diving crankbait. Uh, I've caught a small one. I had a pretty big uh, four or five pound, but it got off. So we'll see if we can't hook in any big ones. Not a good way to start off the day. Bird nest. We're here in Grand Prairie, Texas, at a at a pond at the school at Grand Prairie Grand Prairie High School. It's right here behind their trap, and uh, it's a clear day. Sun's out. It's about anywhere from 95 to 100 degrees. Throwing a, I'm just fast rolling this crank. Fish here seem to like it a little better. Just have them follow it up to the edge, so Let's see if we can't get them. This is why I really don't like doing too much pond fishing. Get your crank all caught up in the grass and stuff. This this pond here is is full of gr nothing but grass. Today is Thursday. Tomorrow I'll be going out to Richland Chambers in Richland, Texas, do a little bit of camping, shoot my bow a little bit, see if I can't kill a rabbit or two and fish, so stay tuned for that, starting probably tomorrow, if I have any time, if we don't get there too late, make a video or, or something, we'll do something, but stay tuned for that this weekend. Probably don't have but 30 minutes left of sunlight. So, fish for a little longer, then I'll, I'll end the video and see what happens this weekend.
had a pretty good bite. There he is. Good take the size large mouth right there. Shut the release. There he goes. Get back up here, get this camera get back up and see if we can't get another one. Once again on the shallow diving sexy shaft crankbait. This bait here always seems to work pretty good in all the ponds I fish. Fast rolling it, real fast. Haven't really seen much shad in this pond, but there are plenty of bluegill. It's actually my first time fishing this pond in probably two, three months. So, just had another little bite here. Had it caught up here on a little shopping cart somebody put in the water. Had a bite right here. We actually hit it twice. Let's see if we can't get him. Got some grass on there. I'll give this about five more casts, and then I'll switch to 
to my other pole. There's one. It's a bit smaller, he's probably 10 inches. A couple ounces probably, he's not really that big. I'll let y'all get the get to see the release again. There it went. Can't get another one. Actually, on my last cast, I think give it a couple more, then I'll switch. Give it just a couple more, then I'll switch cat to a different pole, to a soft plastic. I was unhooking that fish, I actually hooked my finger pretty good. There's one. That's a good one. Right there. That right there is a pretty good one. As y'all could tell, I mean, that's a quality. 14, 15 incher. There, let me get out y'all's light. That one there is. It's actually pretty big. Hooked myself again. Trying to get this fish off. on this big big Texas large mouth right here there he goes